the MVP race may be more of a race than we thought. Hmm? Well, let's take a look at LeBron James in action tonight in Charlotte in front of Hornets owner Michael Jordan, which is fitting because his 22 first half points tonight tied him with MJ's record, 866 consecutive games scoring in double figures. Just another accomplishment for LeBron in year 15. And when the Associated Press asked him who he thought was this year's MVP, he said, quote, I would vote for me, the body of work, how I'm doing it, how we've got so many injuries, things of that nature, guys in and out, to be able to still keep this thing afloat, I definitely would vote for me. <laughs> Fitz, that is your guy. What do you say? He's got an argument. I give him that because you look at his numbers and what he's been doing this year is spectacular. Um, and those guys are still obviously uh, deep into the hunt, but I still got to go with James Harden right now. I just think that he's gotten Houston to a, a number one seed right now. Uh, he's playing at an incredibly high level for them, obviously first in scoring, third in assists. So I'm still rolling with Harden right now. Uh, but gosh, you can't deny what the guy is doing in his 15th year. It's pretty special. Yeah, without a doubt, LeBron, you know, he puts up numbers. <clears throat> and even last year, you look at his numbers, they were great, but not as great as they were this year. Mm -hmm. But he can, you could give him MVP pretty much <laughs> every single right. year. But you're but not giving him MVP. But, well, but, but he hasn't th that's won in five based years. on the criteria. You know, we look at the player mostly with the, the, the best record, the best player on the best team. Now, we didn't have that last year because Westbrook had a historic year. I mean, how many times does a guy average a triple-double? And this Great. year, that the player that fits the criteria is James Harden, the best player on the best team. Mm -hmm. Well, look, I, mean, I have a vote. I'm going to use that vote for James Harden. I've said it on TV. <laughs> he is my MVP this year. But I am, I am interested in the fact that this has sort of turned into who is having the best season every year award. I think that there was a time in our league before sort of the rise of advanced stats where we judged people more holistically. Now we kind of judge them as like who is having the best stats, the best season this year. That's James Harden. There, there's no doubt about it. Right, he is right. the MVP. So I'm not saying anything other than that. But yes, you say you could give LeBron an award any year. I mean, We're not giving him an award stats. any year. I mean, he puts up gaudy stats. Years. But Are you comfortable think about, think in the last about, five years? There's well, no there's, way to sort of say this is the guy who's well, been the best player players. in the league. The, well, the history will say it, though. <laughs> yeah, historically, I mean, yeah. when it's all said and done, LeBron will be up there with Michael Jordan. But <laughs> yeah. when you talk about just one individual season, like last year, how do you not give Westbrook the MVP? The year before that, Steph Curry on a 73-win team, how do you not give him MVP? But this is how you run into this problem. And I have been saying on TV now for two years. He's so going to be just rewarded at the end of his career as one of the top we two or have, three guys of all time. two awards. We should follow the suit of the NFL. We should follow yeah. suit of the NHL. We should sort of separate it out here. Who's having the best season in any given season? And in my view, there should be a larger award for sort of who's the I, best I player agree. in the league right now. And by the way, I might say the best player in the league right now is LeBron. You wouldn't necessarily say that. Who do you think the best player in the league is right now? Well, overall, LeBron is playing just overall. We're talking mm -hmm. about because you look at the stats. Yeah. I mean, yes, LeBron points, assists, rebounds. He's showing that. You know, but if we're talking about a guy, and we talked about this a minute ago, mm -hmm. who do you want with the ball the last three minutes of the game, and you got LeBron, KD, or James Harden? Now, my guess is you might not want LeBron for the first two picks when the game's on the line as compared to these two other so, guys so based on their offensive repertoire. So this is interesting to me. You would pick KD, you, you told me. Now, if we're right? saying that LeBron is the best player, why won't we say, why wouldn't we want him well, over KD and, and James Harden that's right. in the last three you're, or four minutes the one, of the game. You're right. the one who is well, saying who would you, you think the best player would be KD. Who do you think the best player I would be? I think KD is the best closer. Okay. I think but overall if player, player, if you're I the think best LeBron player, is the overall best why don't player. You, if this is the best player <laughs> in the NBA, well, maybe, why I, don't you want him closing the game? I think there are a lot of people compared, who would want well, him. Of course, there's yeah. going to be a lot of people. There's an argument. But I think most people would say closing out a game, you probably want Kevin Durant. Right. So to me, but again, you're not yeah. saying James Harden. But I got to think it's about this. It's interesting that we, we're talking about two different things. James Harden also, you talk about numbers. You said it earlier. He's playing with Chris Paul now. Mm -hmm. Think about what his assist numbers would be without Chris Paul on that team. Mm -hmm. I mean, with the ball in his hands 100% of the time, uh, his numbers would be off the, off the charts. So, Absolutely. you know, he's still playing at such a magnificent level next to a guy who's getting eight or nine assists a game every night. James Harden had a better <laughs> season last year.
and didn't get MVP. Right, <laughs> right. He had a better it's season crazy. last year. He led the league in scoring or was one or two mm -hmm. and led the league in assists yeah. and didn't get it. Yeah. So I think it's rewarding that he gets it this year. I, yeah. I'm, again, I'm going to vote for James Harden, oh, but yeah. I think it's interesting. We should be looking at a little bit of, hey, should we do this more like other leagues do it? Because we're talking about two different things. Yeah. I want to get to Vivint Smart Home Arena in Salt Lake City, Utah, site of our matchup tonight between the Celtics and the Jazz. Jeff Van Gundy will be on the call, and we welcome him in here now. Hey, Jeff. What's going on? I'm imagining you sitting there listening to this. Oh. Your head, your face getting all red and sort of wanting to jump in with us. I'm going to let you jump in and argue. What do you think listen, you heard all, LeBron's pitch? Listen, all I care about is who has the most win shares above replacement because I got to sound smart like those analytical dudes. So... All I know is if whoever's got first pick and if they want to take Durant and the second pick is Harden, believe me, I'll be fine taking LeBron James third. Believe me, I'll, I'll live with that. <laughs> with to close you, out a game, to close out a game, that, that wouldn't be a bad choice. Either. I'm with you, coach. I'm just saying. But you can, close out a, you can close out a game with the pass, too. You know, that's the thing that, you know, James, well, Harden has that, too, and Durant's an improved passer. Listen, it, it's such a hard thing, but... They're all great. And yeah. I just love that LeBron is going to vote for himself because now I'm going to vote for myself for something, too.